Today we were, are with Herbie Lewis at uh, ELA Aviation talking about one of their new aircraft, the Revo. So, Herbie, what do we have behind us here? Uh, this is our newest aircraft. It's the Eclipse 10 Revo. It's the only gyroplane in production in the entire world that will do vertical takeoff. Or you could take off like a regular gyro if you wanted to. There's no one else who has this technology at the moment. Right now we got a patent pending on it, so no one else will have this technology for a long time to come. We're powered by Rotax with a 916, 160 horsepower, which really sends this thing through the moon. It also has a constant speed prop from Duke Propellers, four blade constant speed prop, which makes a huge difference in your cruise speed on this. So in this gyro, you'll be cruising about 117, 120 miles per hour, which makes us probably the fastest cruising gyro in the world as well. The way that we're getting our jump takeoffs is we're using a system that actually changes the pitch of the rotor blades momentarily for, for takeoff which is something that's been done in the past, but it hasn't been done with a two-blade rotor system like we're using here on our gyros now. So in looking at this is from a performance standpoint, what kind of distance are we looking at? Is it a purely straight up, or is there still a certain amount of uh, horizontal movement that's necessary? Well, so there's no horizontal movement that's necessary. What it, what it is is that the the prop pitch and the, uh, and the pitch of the rotor blades themselves are actually zeroed out and so you're really high on the throttle RPM and you're really high on the rotor RPM and when you let go of your pre-rotator button it puts pitch to both the prop and the rotor at the exact same time so that when you take off you don't just go straight up and you come straight back down as you lose your momentum in the rotor blades what happens is, is, you, is, you, is you lift up and then it accelerates you forward so there's no chance of you coming straight back down to the ground. From a safety standpoint is there any impact positive or negative? This is a, a big safety impact on the gyro market mainly because when you take off in a gyro you need three four hundred feet of runway and 99 percent of our accidents are on the runway on takeoff due to low rotor rpm so if we can get rid of having the low rotor rpm on takeoff where you're doing a vertical takeoff or a very short field takeoff you could also do you know two three feet roll and get your forward airspeed and that's honestly the safest way to do it but we completely eliminate the accidents on the ground that happen like that that is fantastic to hear from a safety standpoint. So from a cost standpoint, can you tell me uh, uh, what are you looking at in that space? This gyro is going to go for 239 in the U.S. In total, we have about 40 ordered right now, and we have close to 10 delivered. This is the first one in the U.S., but in Europe and also in Costa Rica and Colombia, there's been a few gyros already delivered, and people are loving it so far. What kind of endurance do we get as far as flight time? About 370 nautical miles out of it. So you can actually get up and go somewhere and uh, enjoy it. All right. Well, Herbie, thank you so much for your time. Greatly appreciate it and hope you have a great show. So for Aero News Network, on the grounds, Oshkosh, Air Venture 2024, I'm Rex Alexander. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name, an indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy.